On behalf of uh, Pam Blum and her children, Pamela, Annie, and Tom, and their families, I welcome you. They hope very much that you will join them after the service at the Graduate Club, which is 155 Elm Street, this way, less than a block, opposite the green. Each of us has stories to tell about John Blum. He touched each of our lives in a distinct and different way. That was his style. And I can promise you that he has told me at least one story about almost everyone in this room. <laughs> John Blum came into the Chauncey family's life over 70 years ago. My father was charged by Harvard to crisscross the United States looking for bright, able young men I'm, at that time. In order to change the traditional face of Harvard, which had been a bastion of the wealthy Anglo-Saxon Northeasterners, my father and Bill Bender of Andover discovered John and brought him first to Andover and then to Harvard. To say that my father was proud of John is an understatement. My father believed that merit was the only really test for admission to college. And John deserved to be at Harvard, and he proved it throughout his life. At my father's 90th birthday party, aside from his own family, Pam and John were the only outsiders to be invited, for they really were family. The year I started working at Yale as an assistant dean was the same year that Pam and John came to New Haven. Our friendship was cemented when they found me a little plot of land in Andover, Vermont, a stone's throw from their country, country home. And John and I played golf rather badly. He counseled me when I was Kingman Brewster's assistant, for in the beginning he knew Kingman better than I. He called me his editor on his final, as yet unpublished mystery story, A Country Killing. We talked to politics, from world politics to Andover, Vermont politics. And he used me as a foil to get around Pam's healthy eating rules by calling me and asking me if I would have a cookout so that he could have his favorite food, hot dogs. But where it counted most was that John knew better than anyone I have ever known how to move gracefully from being a mentor to being a friend. If in mentoring me he felt some sort of obligation to my father, he repaid that debt a thousand times over. And one day I awoke to find he was my friend. And Pam was my friend and Pamela and Richard, and Annie and Peter, and Tom and Nancy, and the next generation as well. I've tried to be a mentor too, but I'm not as good as John. I shall work always to be as good a friend to others as John was to me. <clears throat> 